Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Lexa Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, super sunny day. What is up? I am so pumped for today. If you cannot tell by my extreme excitement, this video was kind of an accident, but also kind of not an accident. If you guys haven't seen my two other Goodwill outlet videos, I will leave them linked all around. It's just this place with literally bins of clothes and you just rummage through them. It's a really weird concept, but to me it's kind of like extreme thrifting and they basically weigh everything to determine how much you owe. Usually Usually I go to the Goodwill outlet in Glendale, which theirs is $2 per pound versus the one in Orange County, which is the one that I went to, which is called Goodwill Marketplace, which is actually kind of funny because originally I never knew that there was even a Goodwill outlet in Orange County. This one was $2 and 49 cents a pound, which like, I mean, 49 cents isn't that crazy, but it is more expensive, weirdly. The difference between this Goodwill outlet is it is a lot smaller, it's outside, but I am telling you there was maybe 20 people there. Most of the people at the Goodwill outlet in Glendale are resellers, whereas this one, there was maybe three people that were resellers and they were so nice. They were like helping this old lady try to get this like shirt that was too far. I do have to say nobody was wearing gloves and I brought gloves and I almost felt weird putting on gloves because nobody else was, but looking back, probably should have worn gloves. Got my receipt right here. I've already washed everything. I ended up getting 15 pounds of clothes, which came to $37.45. Let me just show you all the clothes I got for $37. I think I got like 17 pieces. Let's just get into the haul because this video is gonna be quite long because I just got so much. So the first thing that I got that I'm just gonna pick out, this super cute like silk pajama shirt. It's purple, it's so adorable, I love it. This over a t-shirt or by itself, I think it's just so pretty. And this lavender color is super nice and then it has like the detail in the front. I believe it's like a pajama shirt, but like silk tops are really big right now or at least on Urban Outfitters they are. It is originally from a company called Rose and it's in a large and I'm just so excited to rock this tucked in to some shorts or some jeans and it has little bows on it. This is so light, it was probably probably only like a couple cents, which is just too good. Literally the Goodwill outlet makes it so hard to go to a normal thrift store when you get deals like this. I also got a combination of like sweaters, some jeans, sweatshirts. It was just all over the place. I got this Oregon sweatshirt and it just looks so comfy. I love me a good sweatshirt and I'm actually possibly going to Portland in October. So I figured this would kind of get me all excited. This was some light denim wash jeans. It's just such a cute fall look even though Southern California doesn't get fall. Getting a good sweatshirt without any stains is just so amazing. Then I got a t-shirt and wow, this is a pretty intense mustard yellow. Originally when I looked at it, I was like, oh yeah, okay. And then I saw that it's actually from Stranger Things and I was like, oh yeah, okay. It is an large and it just says mornings are for coffee contemplation. I just think this is such a fun shirt, whether I wear it to bed or I wear it out and about. I feel like the color I could definitely wear out and about. I love of Stranger Things so I figured why wouldn't I get it and obviously love me some coffee as well so that even it's as just a normal like t-shirt I think I would still like pick up but because of Stranger Things it's like even better. Got a sweater and this one is just all the like tan, white, brown colors. I guess you could say it's striped. This is the first thrifted fall sweater of 2019. Wow, I love this thing. Again, there are no imperfections. I just thought it would be really cute. Again, just goes with my style pretty well. It does kind of have a v-neck, so it's a little bit different than a normal traditional sweater. It's not itchy. It doesn't look like it sheds either, which is even better. My hair sheds enough. I don't need a sweater to shed. And this kind of tucked in, I think would be just so cute. Grandpa vibe sweaters. I think it's really funny when people go to a thrift store and they're like, uh, it's for more like mature older people. And I'm like, uh, that's the best part. I got a sweater, which means fall is starting. Okay. I'm just going to go into the other sweater because I feel like now I'm on a sweater kick. This is so cute. This rust color is amazing. It's originally from Forever 21. This one does shed, it definitely does. But again, no imperfections. What is going on? How does this even happen? Side note, there is less underwear at the Goodwill outlet in Orange County. Just a random like observation. Anyway, this is just so cute. 
very happy. Okay, we're just, again, another sweater. Did not mean to do this, I swear, but they were all in perfect condition, so I couldn't say no. This one is originally, oh, oh, uh, yeah, the brown sweater. It doesn't have a tag, so I don't know what brand it's actually from. This one is from Caslon, and it's a cream sweater. And last year during fall and winter, I got really into cream sweaters, and I think it's starting again. This one does not shed, so like, that's amazing. And this one is a little bit of a thicker, like, heavier sweater material but not itchy or anything the detail of it is more stripes with the different threading so this threading is up and down this threading is sideways something a little bit different then i just got a plain black t-shirt literally nothing interesting about this it's a little bit more fitted i just think it's a really nice basic piece i love me my harley davidson black t-shirts but having a plain one i think is nice especially for layering and different things like that which i was really excited about the more like basic pieces i found like this black tank top it's originally from gap and it says it's an extra small but it definitely does not look like an extra small it is just almost like a v-neck tank top and again i just needed something very basic and having it not be that expensive is amazing and the material is really really soft and i think kind of transitioning into fall time this will be perfect okay i'm gonna do another black tank top because i figured it would just go perfectly after that zanana outfitters and it says it's in a medium it definitely reminds me of like a brandy melville tank top and it's just a crop top it's just so like perfect again just something simple easy to just kind of throw on i mean like all three of these honestly if i went to goodwill this would probably be like five dollars and so would these two which would be like fifteen dollars so it makes it just super awesome that i could get it for a lot less money <laughs> i got a sweatshirt and i was very excited because this goodwill outlet or it's called Goodwill Marketplace, but it just makes it easier to say that it's the outlet, is by Disneyland. I figured maybe they would have some Disney stuff, and they did. They actually had a couple of Disney stuff, but nothing that like either fit or was not for a toddler. Seeing this, it's just something super simple, super easy, something I can just throw on. When it comes to like sweatshirts and honestly just in general fashion, I want something that's comfortable that I'm gonna wear all the time. And I know I'm gonna wear this, even though it's not the most aesthetic thing. I love it. A black sweatshirt is something so like basic that I know, especially with it being Disney, it would be probably like $10 at Savers. So pretty happy about this. What makes it Disney? Disney, I haven't even like shown that part is it just has grumpy on the side that's all it has and it does have the Disney tag which I'm super excited because I thought maybe it would be like the champion zip ups or something like that but it actually is from Disney even though I'm not really like a grumpy person maybe before my coffee probably Winnie the Pooh is definitely my favorite but I will take any Disney I can get this one very excited about because I think it was in last Sunday or maybe like two Sundays don't really remember but the more like professional looking pants I'm trying to get into just just to kind of like add something to my style. I saw these black ones and these ones just look like they will fit so nicely. I'm really hoping they do. Obviously there are no dressing rooms at the Goodwill outlet. So you just kind of have to like hope for the best. So I'm hoping for the best. It does have these like belt loops, which is super nice. So if I do need to put a belt, I can. Although I think it'll be good cause it's like elastic, but has button zip up and it's just, black pants super simple super easy it's got pockets which is amazing and it's a really interesting material kind of reminds me of a bathing suit but that's okay oh i got a lot of bottoms or no i did it i got two bottoms i don't know why i said a lot can we appreciate the denim real quick do you see this denim let's just go into the denim now okay this one what the heck honestly i saw it and i was like what are you and then i realized i think it's a crop top so it's like a denim let me try to put it on obviously there's a try on portion but like okay no this i can't i can't i can't put it on like this a denim crop top it has a tie in the back and i love me all denim and i just really wanted to try it to be honest i don't know how much wear i'll get out of it i don't even know if it'll look good on me i got it anyway and it doesn't say like where it's from so i am just excited to try it and can you imagine this with like a denim jacket and denim pants and just like the whole denim life. Now these jeans, I don't know if they'll fit. I'm really hoping so. They are originally from Wrangler and I think they are a size 30. Yeah, they're a size 30. And the thing that really caught my attention were the paint stains, which I know is a very weird thing to say. Hear me out. 
on Urban Outfitters. They have these like vintage jeans with paint splatters and they're probably selling them for like $100. Seeing this for probably only a couple of dollars. With a lot of my other thrift flips, in my mind, I was like, I'm gonna do that thrift flip where I get jeans and put paint on them and I just never did. So why not just buy some that already have it, especially for still being at the thrift store and they are regular jeans. So I'm really hoping they fit. I mean, other than the paint splatter, they're in really good condition. <laughs> Another Wrangler item. This one actually had the original tag still on from Wrangler, but I had to wash it, so I took it off. It was there. This one was probably what made it the heaviest. It's probably almost like a dress on me, which usually never happens, but it has the Wrangler tag on there. I am thinking I may, I may. I don't know if I will just because the last time I did it didn't really turn out that great. I may cut it. If not, I may put it on my Poshmark just because I know you guys love denim jackets as much as I do. And I would love to have someone enjoy this if I can't. <laughs> I was just walking along and all of a sudden I saw this and I was like, why isn't anyone grabbing this? It was literally like perfectly just laying on top of one of the bins and I just swooped on in and grabbed it. It was probably sitting there for a good 10 minutes. I kind of like waited because I was like, eh, I don't know about the size. Nobody grabbed it, so I grabbed it. Then I got some shorts, which I'm also really hoping they fit. I put it around my neck and it kind of fit. It's definitely gonna be tight, so I don't know how well it'll go around my thighs, but it's originally from a company called The London Lean, and it says it's a size four, so I don't know. I would say I'm more like a size six, but they just looked so nice. They look like such nice black, Mom jean, mom jean shorts, mom jean shorts. Yeah, high waisted jean shorts. So I'm extremely hopeful for this one. Then weirdly, I have the last two items that are very different from each other, a jacket and a Hawaiian shirt. Okay, I will start with this one, which I just thought it was really cute. I really like the colors. It has the blue, the green and the flowers. I may have a place to wear this next month. So I figured why not grab it because I may need it. And like I said, to contrast that, I got this flannel, which is so nice. It's originally from a company called Field and Stream and it's in a large. I don't have any flannels anymore. I don't know why this happens to me. I would say usually by fall, I'm like, I need to get flannels. And then I get them probably like a month later. I'm like, I don't want it anymore. I don't know what happens, but this one, the thing I like about it is it's a little bit more like a jacket without being like a super intense jacket, if that makes any sense. Usually flannel material is a little bit softer, which most people love, but for me, I want it to be just like more stiff, which is what this one is. And it's green and blue. It has the brown on there. And and I just know I will wear this even if it's not super cold outside, but I want like a jacket or something and to kind of give something different than me just wearing my denim jackets. Like it's just, okay. I don't know why I decided to do this. I was like, yeah, let me put it on. And then I realized I don't really want to put it on because I'm already wearing a long sleeve. Don't want to put on another long sleeve because it's kind of hot. I don't know how in the world I made it through that. I think I've been filming for like 40 or 50 minutes. If you guys like thrifting videos, thrift hauls, thrifting with me, so make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. I definitely need to go back to this Goodwill outlet and actually bring my camera just to kind of show you guys a little bit more just because I'm so excited for everything that I got and just the experience overall was probably like one of my favorite Goodwill experiences and also just Goodwill outlet experiences and how inexpensive it ended up being. If you follow me on Instagram, you already kind of saw like my sneak peeks of what it was actually like. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you totally should, which is alexsunshine83. I will see you guys this Sunday with a brand new Sunday Sunday video. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye!